All right, so game three didn't go exactly as planned. Cedric Lewis, once again, with another historic um, game, 63.6 rebounds, nine assists, only had one steal, was 22 of 36 from the field, and we ended up losing by 14. As you can see, we tried storm back in that fourth quarter. It wasn't enough. That third quarter really killed us. Uh, we had no interior defense. No one was guarding the perimeter. Eight and at 20 and 11, 10 for 11 from the field. Uh, and Jay Rich is my third leading scorer with 10. Not uh, enough. As you can see, Cole Anthony dropped 25 points in 16 minutes off the bench. Mitchell struggled because I was on him. Uh, Garland balled out. Mobley had 20 rebounds. Josh out. Josh, Josh. Jared Allen had 12 rebounds. Not enough. Not enough. They won the rebound in the game again. But we have another game at home. We dropped that one at home. If we go down 3-1, this series is might be a wrap. All right, and here are the stats here in Center View 2K. We did not get the win. We're going to accept that. And as you can see, 63 points there. We're currently down 2-1 in the series. You can see my career record up in the top right, 14 and 10. Without further ado, let's head into this game four against the Cleveland Cavaliers and hope we don't get out-rebounded by about 80. All right, game four of this Eastern Conference Finals. The Hornets looking to avoid going down three games to one and the Cavaliers looking to take a commanding three games to one lead they know that number oh too well as they are the first team in NBA history and the only team in NBA history to come back 3-1 in the NBA finals and they are looking to go back to those finals for the first time since LeBron has left this is their first time in the conference finals since LeBron has departed there is Garland now gonna kick it out Isaac Okoro from the wing it's off and they almost get an offensive rebound. I made a lineup change. I decided to throw Larry Marketing back in the starting lineup so we can have more. Uh, so we can actually have a backup center. Cedric with the slam. Oh, uh, yeah. So I put Marketing back at power forward. So we have Cedric. I mean, uh, Nick Richards as our backup center now because we didn't have a backup center coming off the bench. Larry Marketing was playing that role. But that's what we risk putting Larry Marketing in the starting lineup is that defense. And Evan Mobley is going to cook. But I'm just really hoping. I'm really hoping we can just outplay them on offense. As a little ball. It's not helping my case. I also gave uh, minutes. I extended our bench. So instead of running a seven-man rotation, which is what we were running, we're back up to about a nine-man rotation. I gave Dorian Finney-Smith and Max Schroes their minutes back. Jay Rich wide open for three. Oh, in and out. This is not a good start. Yep, we have no answer for them. No answer for the Cavaliers, man. It's just, it's, it's, it's disappointing the way the season has come to it. It's how it's going to come to an end. Lowry, no one can hit shots right now on our, our team. No one can hit shots. I got to try and steal that, and I do. Cedric Lewis apparently slows down. Luckily, I get fouled. Uh, apparently, NBA players, according to 2K, they get a steal, and on a fast break, fast, keyword being there, fast, uh, slow down. So that's 2K for you. Bro, our flaws are getting exposed massively right now in this series. Our interior defense is next to none. And that is not the shot I wanted, 2K. I hit the square button like five minutes before I took that shot. As you can see, 11 rebounds to our four right now. Down by 12. I'm trying to stop the bleeding a little bit. Nick Richards still isn't enough as... Like, there's, there's no answer for that. Like, I can't even get mad that he made that shot because that is just insane. Uh, Max Struess, come on, please make that. He does. Max Struess, after not playing the first three games, knocks down a three, cuts it to 11. Our defense is legit just being exposed right now. We just have no defense. 33 points, and there's still a minute and a half left. I got lucky there. It's just, it's sad. It's really, really sad. I don't want you running the offense right now, Ty Jones. You're a great player, but I need to be running the offense. I won't even let LaMelo Ball run the offense. Max Drews, he got contested. I'm pulling that. I'm pulling that. That's a good release, and it's good. Nine-point game. I'm going to sub out. The Cavs have Denver Nuggets syndrome where they just won't miss, and we have no defense. And our bench cuts it to three. Most likely it's going to be four. That is huge for us. So you're telling me I'm a negative when I'm on the court? Really? I'm the negative at 19. 
out of um, 20 points at one point, or 21 points at one point. I don't think I'm the negative 2K. I think that man right there, LaMelo Ball, Mr. Sir Dribbles a lot, is the problem. Oh, I'm going to stop. That's a midi. Of course it is, but we got a tie game now. I stopped way before that, but you know how 2K is. With these free throws here, the Hornets have a lead for the first time since it was 2 to 0, I believe. Now we got to keep our foot on the gas. Bro, they're playing Kendrick Nunn at small forward. We're losing to a team playing Kendrick Nunn at small forward. That says it all. That says it all right there. I'm going right to the rack, and I get blocked. Wow, crazy. Crazy, dude. I... They're running three guards right now, and we can't do anything about it defensively. Like, we just can't. Give me that. Oh, my God, dude. How do I not get that steal? I quite literally touched the ball, and I didn't get the steal. I can't, bro. This is ridiculous. LaMelo, pass it back to the player with 37. Oh, you scared me there. 37 points in the half, please. Because I'm pretty sure you are one for six in this game right now. So you do not deserve to even be on the court currently. I don't know how you are. Steve Clifford is a brain-dead moron of a head coach. One of three things is happening. LaMelo's gone, Steve Clifford is gone, or I'm gone next season. We have a chance to tie it at half. We have a chance to tie it at half. I'm going right I'm going right at the rim. There we go. Tie game. Five seconds left. It's a miracle that it's a tie game right now. Four, three, two, one. Blocked. Get that out of here. 65-65 is your halftime score. I'm honestly just at a loss of words. I'm at a loss for words. Like, I'm getting quite literally no help right now offensively. No one is helping me. I, like, I don't understand what else I need. To, I have 42 out of our 68 points. Like, I can't do any more. No one's hitting their shots. And then LaMelo, bro. Wow, dude. There is quite literally no defense being had in the paint. Quite literally. They have 40 points in the paint to our 14. Like, I, there, there's nothing. There, There is literally zero defense in that painted area there is almost always no one in there bro i quite literally played i quite literally i guarded two players on that possession got the miss and they get the offensive rebound and hit a bucket in i literally i quite literally could not have played that defensive possession any better not to mention i have 50 out of 76 points and I don't even want to hear you're not passing. I have passed so many times, and they have just bricked it. Just complete bricks. It's insane. It is insanity. It's, I can't believe how garbage my team is playing right now. How garbage they are performing. Like, Tyus Jones, you really took that shot. You really took that shot. And one. And one. And one. What else can I do? What else can I do? We get a steal. Chance to take the lead. If I didn't get bumped there. Alright, well, now I need to reset. They are literally double teaming me now. Literally double teaming me now. We have a chance to take the lead here. Three left. I need to... Why is Aiton... Why did you take that mid-range? Go right back up, Aiton. He hits it. I for, Aiton's playing power forward instead of center. Uh, Nick Richards thinks he is prime DeMar DeRozan with the midi. I, I, you can't explain. I don't think anyone also has double-digit points besides me. I forget, but one of our teammates has nine. I think it's marketing has nine. Other than that, everyone's below nine. Everyone. And I'm getting subbed out here. You know what? Last time I got subbed out, it's a tie game, though, this time. Last time I got subbed out, we were down by three. This time, we're down by one. You know what? I'll take it since it was a tie game. We've gone on a quick 6-0 run due to a LaMelo turnover. I mean, not turnover. A LaMelo ball steal. We just need to keep... The pressure because if we go down 3-1 i don't think there's coming back the fact that we're even up in this game is insane and my defense on donovan mitchell has been huge to that look at that how is that a foul if i just hold the stick straight up he's gonna hit the shot but if i hit triangle it's a foul oh my god lamello ball just got another steal lamello ball has came up huge in this fourth quarter two steals all right lamello you may be ass on offense, but...
But by God, on defense so far in this quarter, you have been electric. Unbelievable. I have another 63-point game. As Aiton with another defensive possession. Keep cutting, Lowry. Please do not take that shot. I'm taking it. Ah, oh, I missed it. That would have... This arena would have possibly exploded if I made that shot. Donovan Mitchell just missed another shot. He is shooting. Why did we call a timeout there? Did I break an NBA record? I did. I love now it shows the record even though I broke it twice. I dropped 65 and I tied it with 63. And now 2K is like, you know what? Now we're going to show him breaking the record. Now we're going to give him a celebration. And you may say like, oh, that's because you broke it again. When I broke it with the 65, I didn't get that. Maybe because I, I might have been on the road, as Donovan Mitchell picks up his third, I might have been on the road where I dropped 65. So you know what? That would make a lot of sense. They're subbing me out. We just exploded in that fourth quarter. I think they're going to end up subbing me back in. So I don't know why I'm talking here. Yeah, 27 seconds left, though. That's fine. LaMelo Ball absolutely went off in that fourth quarter. Defensively and offensively at the end, of course, I had to feed him with the pick and roll. But he was actually making the shots, unlike before, earlier in the game when I tried feeding him with the pick and roll. And he couldn't shoot a ball in the ocean. What a second half. It was really a fourth quarter comeback. The Cavs were up by as many as 14 at one point. And it felt like this game was long over. And it took 73 points from Cedric Lewis to come all the way back and beat the Cleveland Cavaliers here to force a game. Well, not really force. But to bring a game five out to Cleveland series now knotted up two games apiece a pivotal game five coming up in Cleveland final box score Cedric Lewis one for the ages 73 points five rebounds seven assists a steal and a block only two turnovers 27 to 39 from the field four for eight of downtown 15 to 15 from the free throw line I ended up becoming a positive seven I was responsible for 88 of our 129, I think we scored points. Lamel Ball was responsible for 52 of those. He turned it up in that fourth quarter. He ended it with 21 and 12. That's what I needed for my second leading scorer. That's what I needed. If we look at that fourth quarter, he had 11 of his points on 4 for 4 shooting in that quarter. That's insane. Marketing gave us 13 points. He's been playing well. Uh, 8 and only 11 and 14. And after that, we had no scoring. Literally none. Which is just not enough, but Cedric dropped 73, so it is what it is. And for the Cavaliers, Mobley, unstoppable with marketing on him. But, I mean, he was unstoppable with Nick Richards on him. So, honestly, we have to just live with this. And also, this helped us. Donovan Mitchell, 9 of 26, 4 of 17. I, I can't play better defense on him. I quite literally can't. I held him to 2 of 9, 0 of 5 in that fourth quarter. And in that second half, he was 4 of 16, 1 of 10, compared to only missing one shot in that first, oh, that was the first quarter. In the first half, he was 5 of 10. So that was huge. And then Jared Allen, 16 rebounds. He had three offensive ones. I can't really, we can't do much about that. Garland, though, got clamped up a little bit. 3 of 9, wasn't even in foul trouble. And he just was not taking shots. We had that on lockdown. Other than that, let's check the points in the paint real quick. So, as you can tell from the first half, it was points in the paint were 32 to 14. At the end of the game, it was 56 to 54. What a turnaround. That second half, we outscored them 40 to 24 with points in the paint. That's going to be for me. GG.